You know my video about how we look at other people as objects at all times if we think we're above them or below them? We do the same thing to all life on this planet because we've convinced ourselves that we are separate from everything else on this planet. We are part of the ecosystem on this planet. It's why for many years I found it to be a fruitless fantasy for all this space travel stuff and finding some other planet to inhabit that has all the same incredible conditions that the Earth has. And really, to what end? So we can ruin that planet as well? Sure, it's a good thing to learn about other planets, what they're comprised of, how the universe moves, how many dimensions there are, and how everything interacts within those dimensions. But to think that going to some other planet to live is somehow going to do anything other than let us turn the Earth into our garbage heap is a rather naive fantasy. To think that we're going to achieve the same kind of warp 10 space travel we see in science fiction movies is also quite a naive fantasy. We are part of this planet. Everything on this planet is related to each other. This is why everything evolves on this planet the way it does. There is no set plan. But there are the specific conditions that this planet has. Again, we are all related in some way. Our study of evolution actually proves this, or have we forgotten that? When it comes to these three pillars I speak of, the pillars we base our society on are exactly why we are a society of liars. In some cultures that aren't based on these pillars, there is no need for lies, and there is no need to manipulate others. There is no need to be dishonest because there is no need for ownership. In our culture, lying is what we teach ourselves to do from early ages. Lying is our way of life here. I have made it a thing most of my life to not lie, and it has always been quite a challenge as I'm not always successful in my attempts to be honest and truthful about everything, because everything in front of us that we've built up as a culture make lying the regular thing to do. I know, as well as anyone else who has really attempted to do this knows, exactly how hard it is to get through even a full day without lying to someone about something, provided you have some sort of communication with others at all. Collectively, we lie about so many things all the time. Our society is almost pathological about it. That element of our society is deplorable, yet we collectively seem to accept it without question as just being a part of the human condition, when in actuality it's a part of our culture of these three pillars. As I've said, a big problem with these three pillars is that it makes us look at ourselves as separate from other people, separate from other animals, separate from the planet. And when I say separate, I mean that we don't view anything as equals to us, just as we tend to not look at other people as equals which again goes into my earlier video about how we can never look at other people as equals. How we can never look at people as anything other than objects, as long as we think we're either above or below other people. If we can't even view other humans, humans, as being equals to us, how can we possibly view other life on this planet as being equals to us? Well, we can't, and that's the problem. But hey, you know, we have all these neat things. We have technology, medicine, a longer lifespan. We have the internet. But then we have consumerism, materialism, greed as a way of striving for more than we actually need. We have wars, hatred of people for not having the same worldview. We have lynchings and bashings, bullying, mass shootings, and we have an utter disconnect from what we actually are. So as long as I'm a part of this culture, I'm going to find ways of enjoying it. My ways of enjoying it may seem strange to many people, like my enjoyment of being fat, my enjoyment of smelling like the animal that I am, my enjoyment of having more of the types of things that I like than what I really need. I'm a part of this culture, but I'm also a part of this planet. So while I'm here, I'd like to remind people of the realities we live in.